your book called? Hmm? Oh, see for yourself. The Little Monster. Hmm. Core. Oh, I bet that's a scary book. Monsters are frightening. <laughs> well, the little monster isn't. Would you like to see a picture of it? Go on, then. There it is. Oh, that's not a monster. It's a mouse. Hmm. Yes, I know. Then why did you call it a monster? Well, it was the Griffin who called it a monster. He's scared of mice, you see. In this book, he finds a mouse in a hollow tree, and he's so frightened of it, he calls it a little monster. <laughs> but why was he scared of a mouse? I don't know. Some people are scared of mice. Still, it was a good book. Are you ready to play now? Oh, yes. What would you like to play at? I don't know. But I think I'd like to try a game we haven't played before. I tell you what. Let's play at being monsters. Oh, that sounds fun. What do monsters do? Well, they, uh, jump out at people and frighten them. Do they? Mm. How? Well, by making horrible faces and scary noises. I'm not sure if I can make scary noises. Well, you won't know until you have a try. Have a go now. All right, then. Ow! Oh, oh. mm, Snodgrass, that wouldn't scare anybody, really. I'm sorry. I tried my best. Try something like this. Cor, that's really scary. I wonder if I can do it. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I don't think that was quite right, was it? No, not quite. I tell you what, let's just shout monsters instead. That will be easier. Let's try it. On the count of three, then. One, two, three. Monsters! Monsters! Ah, that was much better, wasn't it? Now let's practice pulling horrible faces. I'll go first. Ready? Mm. How was that? Very good. That should scare anybody. Right. Now you try. See if you can scare me. Ready? I'm turning round now. Oh, oh, wonderful. That really frightened me then. But I wasn't pulling a face. I was still working out how to do it. Oh, uh, well, never mind. You'll soon catch on. Come on. Monster! Monster! Oh! <laughs> Monsters! Oh, I say. <laughs> Toby, Snodgrass. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. I enjoy being a monster, don't you? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, look. Auntie Flo's coming. We'll frighten her next. <laughs> do you think we ought to? Hmm? Snodgrass, monsters frighten everybody. What? Even Auntie Flo? Yes, even her. It's a monster's job to frighten everybody, however much you like them. All right. Right. <laughs> Monster! Oh dear! Oh, Toby? Snodgrass? Oh, extraordinary. Oh, that hurt. Hmm? Oh, well, yes. Auntie Flo thought we were real monsters, so she hit out with a basket. I thought it was quite brave of her, really. Yes, well, it's all right for you. You didn't get hit by the basket. Oh, Snodgrass. Monsters don't moan when they get a little knock. Don't they? No, they don't. They just laugh it off. <laughs> oh, well, here goes then. <laughs> it still hurts. Well, never mind. Oh, look. Here comes Meeple. Come on, we'll frighten her. Monsters! Monsters! Hello, Toby. Hello, Snowcross. 
She wasn't scared at all. No, she's even braver than I thought. But I know what we'll do. What? Well, if she's not scared of us, we'll pretend to be scared of her. After all, she is a little monster, isn't she? No, she's not. She's a mouse. Yes, but think of the story, Snodgrass. It's about a mouse, remember? And the griffel calls it the little monster. Oh, yes. So we'll pretend that Maple is a monster. That's right. And we'll pretend to be terrified of her. Uh, this is going to be fun. Come on. Ah, oh, look, Snodgrass, it's a little monster. Yes. Oh, gosh, how frightening. Mm, don't be silly. It's only me. Oh, did you hear it roar? Go away, monster, go away. But I tell you, it's me, me. Help, help, help. There's a little help. monster help. in the garden. Help. Don't tease him. Oh, it's frightening us. Oh, monster, help. Keep little back, monster. monster. I think you're both silly. I'm going. <laughs> I was just coming through the garden, and they leapt out at me, and they really frightened me. Well, I can quite believe it, Auntie Flo. You know, they did the same thing to me, and I spilled sugar mice all oh. over the place. Oh, hello, Maple. Maple. You haven't seen Toby and Snodgrass, have you? I want a few words with them. Yes, and so do I. They're in the garden, being absolutely horrible. Oh? Ah, did they jump out at you as well? Oh, well, I didn't mind that. I'm very brave, you know. Oh, yes, yes, we know. But then they started teasing me, and that was awful. I don't like being teased. It upsets me. Oh, dear. No, it's not nice when people tease you. But don't let them see you're upset, and they'll soon get tired of teasing. That's right. Why don't you try saying something like this? Music. You can tease me. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. So then, if you tease me, I'll just say, why don't you run along and play? If you tease me, I won't cry. Doesn't worry me, that's why. If you tease me, I'll just say, Why don't you run along and play? If you tease me, I won't mind. I know you don't mean to be so unkind. But if you have to act that way, I'll say, why don't you run along and play? Just say, why don't you run along and play? <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish I had said something like that. That would have stopped them calling me names. Oh, what names did they call you? They called me a little monster. Oh, I don't like being called that. Aha, I see. Toby must have been reading his books. What do you mean, magician? Well, that's where he got the idea of calling you a little monster. You see, one of his books is about a mouse who frightened the griffle. And the griffle thought the mouse was a little monster. Come on over to the puddle and I'll show you. <laughs> it does seem silly. A great big creature like the griffle being afraid of a mouse. I know, but he is, though. <laughs> As you'll see. One fine morning... Sarah went into the magician's garden and found the griffle standing under a tree. Let's play hide and seek, said Sarah. All right, said the griffle, and they began to play. The griffle was very good at hiding because he could vanish when he wanted to, but he always left his tail showing so that Sarah could find him. Sarah had just gone past the hollow tree looking for the griffle when she heard a great roar. And the griffle leapt out of the tree as if it was on fire. Whatever's the matter, griffle? asked Sarah. There's, 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 a, there's a, a monster in the tree, said the griffle. A, a little monster. Sarah ran to the tree and looked in. Why, it's only a mouse, she cried. But they frightened me. Sarah bent down and picked up the mouse. I'll put him outside in Puddle Lane, she said. Then we can go on playing. No, no, we can't, said the Griffle. Where there's one mouse, there are bound to be more. I'll come back in another day. The Griffle vanished. Sarah put the little mouse in her pocket. As she went out into Puddle Lane, she met Mrs. Pitter-Patter. You should never walk with your hands in your pocket, Sarah, said Mrs. Pitter-Patter. 
But I've got a mouse in my pocket, Mrs. Pitter Patter, said Sarah, taking out the mouse. Oh! cried Mrs. Pitter Patter. A mouse! She turned and ran down Puddle Lane as fast as she could. Sarah looked at the little mouse. She must be afraid of mice too, she said. I can't think why anyone should be afraid of you. I shall take you home and give you some supper, and then I shall put you safely back in the hollow tree. So, you see, Maple, Toby and Snodgrass called you a little monster because you're a mouse. I don't think they meant to upset you. No, you're probably right. Still, they did mean to frighten me when they jumped out of the bushes. Yes. yes. If somebody frightened them, they'd soon know how it feels. Hmm. You're giving me an idea, aren't you, Flo? Uh, what sort of idea? Well, Toby and Snodgrass upset Maple by calling her a little monster. But what if she was a real monster? She could roar right back at them. Hmm? But I'm not a monster. And I don't really think I'd like to be. Well, I'm sure you wouldn't. But what if I was to, um... Magic a spell to give you a monster's roar. Oh, yes. I'd enjoy that. Right, then, let's do it. Oh, come on, Calden. We'd like to make a spell, please. Yes, I heard, magician. And I think it's a very good idea. Toby and Snodgrass scared me as well as you, you know. Oh, I don't think they'll do it again, Calden. Not after Maples roared at them. Oh, 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 no. Since it's a spell to give Maple a monster's roar, we'll need something beginning with mmm for Maple and monster. Mmm, mmm. I know, marmalade. Yes, there's some on the shelf. I imagine you'll enjoy that, won't you, Calden? I certainly would. And if you had a little piece of toast to go with it... Hmm. I'm afraid not, Calden. You'll just have to make do with the marmalade. <sighs> Here you mm, are. Mmm, delicious. Now we need a colour beginning with R for raw. R. Come on, Maple. R. Come on, Maple. Oh, red. A well done. A red. Rubber ring. Lots of rough sounds in that. <laughs> Come on. Pop it in. There we are. Uh, now, isn't it the magic tune next, magician? That's right, Auntie Flo. And it goes, um... Oh, it goes... How does it go? <laughs> Thank you, Maple. Well right. done. <laughs> All together now. Next, the magic clap. And finally, the magic rhyme. Puddle muddle, muddle puddle, Toby and Snodgrass will scare us no more. Muddle puddle, puddle muddle, Maple shall have the monsters roar! Ooh, I wonder if it's worked. Um, right, come on, Maple. Uh, why don't you give us just a... A little roar. <laughs> All right. Here goes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> right, now let's all go into the garden, and if Toby and Snodgrass jump out at us, you can give them a really big roar. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Lovely day. Yes, and uh, how lucky there aren't any monsters around. Hmm. <laughs> Well, isn't it nice and peaceful here in the garden? <laughs> Monsters! <laughs> well, I rather think we won't be having any more mischief out of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's the matter, you two? Surely you're not scared two great big monsters like you? <laughs> Is that really you? <laughs> yes, and I'm only a little monster. <laughs> Maple, you're playing a trick on us. <laughs> well, you deserve it. 